And welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 2. The Black Shadow, and it's time to get out of the police station. We go away into the sewers. Ah, you know who that is, folks. That is William Birkin. In his least mutated form, by the way. Christ. He's pissed, folks. And he hates you. Now. This boss isn't necessarily too hard to fight. Oh, by the way, folks. I like the music for this boss fight, just yeah, it's one of my fav well, favourite boss music so, of sort of the early Resident Evil. I don't know, I just kind of like it. Now, the real danger to this boss fight, and by the way, using Magnus is probably the best way is, do not let him hit you. He hurts like a son of a... When he does that, if he hits you... Holy... Ow! Why did I run? Get up, Leon! Because he... If he hits you while you're down, you are dead. He really hurts, folks. Whoa, stay the f hell away from me. He's gone crazy. Now, believe me, folks. I know I made that look quite easy. Don't let him hit you. Because, trust me, he really, really hurts. If he somehow going to get you sort of trapped in a corner like here, which it did... The first time I ever fought this boss, I ended up getting trapped in this corner. You're pretty, you're pretty screwed, folks. You are really screwed. Magnum really helps there. If you've got the shotgun, you can definitely make use of that, and that'll get the job done. But Magnum's by far the best way to go about it. Make sure you have some help with you there, because things can get really bad. Really, really bad, if you're not careful. He knows how to swing a pipe. Nice Ada. Ada. How, where does she come from? I don't know. What was that all about? Running off like that was reckless and stupid. Those zombies are everywhere. Not to mention that thing that got Ben. I was there, Leon. I know. Look, Ada. As an officer, it's my job to look out for you. But we're not going to get through this alive if we don't work together, okay? All right, we'll do this your way for now. Well, hurrah! Well, there we go, folks. So we've got um, Ada's going to be joining us for for now. Well, thank you, Ada. Thank you very much. Let's head for here. Of course, we don't need to worry about sort of. Um, Ada getting sucked through a blooming vent like um, Sherry did. Good God. There's a couple blue herbs here. I'll grab them because, well, I can. Uh, Ada's taking a sweet ass time walking up here. Yeah, you don't need to worry about her sort of like being so far away you can't open a door, anything like that. Of course, she can run the same speed as you and she can defend herself. Much more, no, much better than having Sherry, but, well, it's not, I suppose it's not necessarily a, a fair comparison, I suppose. Alright, so let's um, head through here. Is there something in here? Yeah, hangar bullets there. Double hangar bullets in there. Thank you, game. Let's see what we got in here, if I could ever get through. Uh, so magic packs, we've um, had that. Let's have a fit around of our inventory a little bit here. Uh, magnum, so we can switch that back to our shotgun for now. We, we, don't, need the mag we don't need the magnum ready for, for a while. Um, drop that. I don't really want a full heal on this. We don't need a full heal. I'll take the green-blue mix. That's, we don't need a full heal on us, so it's not really necessary. Is there anything in these lockers here? First aid spray. No, we don't need that. Right, so let's um, head up through here. Is there anything in these lockers? Now, it's pretty obvious we can move these, but let's have a look. We push these lockers out of the way. And there's a door. Which we can just open. We don't need to worry about like, a lockpick or anything like that, which is kind of nice. Go down the ladder. 
Now, again, we haven't, I haven't shown you this bit, um, no, as opposed to, say, like I did with a Claire, so let's show it. First thing we want to do is look at this, uh, an alcohol lamp, uh, kind of obvious, you need to, um, use the light here, which lo lights up the area, and then you can actually see the items here that you can take. Uh, some magnum bullets there, we'll grab those. And there's, now, again, the other lamp is here, so we'll grab that. See, this lamp here is a lot easier to see than, say, the one over the first one. I think that's actually quite hard to see that. Um, you know, I just remember it's there, but you you do well to see it, folks. And there's some shotgun shells there, so um, that's all it's down here. So we'll come back up. And we'll drop the uh, handgun boots off. Alright, so we'll put the magnet bullets away, and we shall uh, proceed onwards. Head on down! No, it was come on down, wasn't it? My bad. Oh, it's a net! Ada. Heads up. Bloody hell! Leon, that woman was... I have to talk to her. Bloody hell! Just shot Leon! Good God! He's lost consciousness due to shock from the bullet wound. Wound does not appear to be mortal. Bloody hell. Well, anyways, folks, let's move on. Yeah. You know, um, of course, uh, her handgun bullets get replenished. For some reason, um, she now apparently has a side pack as well. Um, because Leon has it. She obviously, you know, if it was, no, Leon was trying to make a fashion statement or something. I don't know. Anyway, let's uh, move on here. We'll chase net down here. Head through here. Yeah, the bugs are here now, but they can't catch you because you're, you know, running at normal speed, sort of thing. That was a shot. Don't move. You're the one who was with that cop, if I'm not mistaken. Identify yourself. Identify yourself. <laughs> Ada. Ada Wong. Ada Wong. I've heard that name before. Now I remember. One of the men from Chicago who came to assist the T-Virus research used his girlfriend's name as his password. Ada and John, I believe. See what I was saying about Resident Evil 1? How did you know? Who are you? Annette Birkin. My husband is the man responsible for the creation of the T-Virus, William Birkin. What? John's dead. He became one of those zombies. My condolences. And although I regret this, you will be joining him shortly. I won't let anyone take the G-Virus away from me. G-Virus? It's capable of creating the ultimate bioweapon. Its potential is even greater than that of the T-Virus. Then that must mean the creature in the police department is... Precisely... My husband, William. And it's all Umbrella's fault. None of this would have happened if they hadn't tried to steal his research away from him. Where did you get that pendant? It looks exactly like the one I gave Sherry. She dropped it. I've been holding on to it for her. Liar! Give it back to me! <laughs> Too bad. What the hell was that? Too bad? What? I don't know, folks. I don't know. Yeah, you see that, folks, inside there? Oh, uh, that is very, very important. Really, to the whole story of Resident Evil 2, that is very important in there. Inside that is, um, well, that is a sample of the G-Virus, folks. And, you know, as I said, as far as the storyline of Resident Evil is concerned, that is quite important.
Ada? Yeah, well, I'm assuming Leon doesn't feel too well. He just got shot through the chest. Now, from here, you know, obviously this is going back to where we were, which reminds me, need to take the valve handle with me, but we're not going to follow Ada down just yet, folks. We're going to head this way first. Because, of course, this is the way that um, <coughs> Sherry and Claire came down. And you and in the B games, you can come up here and grab some extra items and equipment here, um, you know, which you can't do in the in say the A game. Which reminds you, I don't think I actually said. If you look in these lockers, um, in I believe in one in these lockers, I did I forgot to mention it. I think in a uh, Claire's A game, in these lockers, um, there is a first aid spray for Claire in here. Um, I forgot to mention that. My apologies, but I saw I was looking back and I realised, oh crap, there's some uh, there's a first aid spray in there, isn't there? So uh, there you go, folks. Uh, so now you know. Alright, so we've got a load of green herbs there, which is really nice. We can make definite use of those. So we'll um, drop that. We can drop that one at least. Can we open this door, or do we need a small key to get down here? Yeah, it's locked, so we need you. Yeah, it is locked, but you can get a small key, and that will actually open that up. Um, I think if you're playing Leon's A, I think there's like a small key down here, but I don't think there is one um, for B. I forget, folks, I really do. Now, the one thing I want to almost experiment myself here, folks, but we can also. We can. Because, um, no, Claire sort of opened up this area. I want to know is there anything for Leon? Back like um, where uh, where we can go now. I don't actually know. You know what I mean, folks. Like sort of like um, you know like uh, where like um, Iron's sort of uh, his sort of room where he died. I don't know if there's anything in there for us to, um, to grab. So I'm gonna go down and have a look. Run past. Yes, I can run past. Good. Just I've never really ex I've never really looked down here, folks. So you know why not look now? Right, I know, obviously, no, I, I know from that Leon's been shot and he needs some for medical aid, but oh well. Let's just head down here and we'll um, go up this ladder. There's uh, Chief Irons. His body has been torn apart. Lovely. Uh, yeah, that's your that's your police chief, Leon. Um, say hi to him. No, there doesn't appear to be anything down here. Um, I'll quickly go up the the um, staircase. Staircase? What? Elevator. I'm just pu I'm just curious, folks. In all honesty, I've just never looked down here, and I just don't know. I n you can access these areas. I just don't know if there's ever any reason to actually come down here. So, you know, I'll, I'll find out for you. Look at it that way. This might all just be, you know, a waste of about five minutes. I don't know. No, there's uh, nothing here. Um, no, nothing here at all. Um, so there, you can go up to where Claire's sort of um, little safe room is. And you can grab that stuff. If you have got a small key with you, you can enter the room where Claire was. And I'm assuming there's shotgun shells and magnum bullets in there. Um, but I don't actually have a small key with me, so, you know, I can't show you that. Um, you know, I, I thought you um, only got, you didn't get enough keys for Leon's B to get everywhere, because you're, you're not really supposed to, um, you're not really supposed to be able to get into there, because that's sort of Claire's room. Although if you're playing, playing sort of Claire's B, obviously you've got the lockpick, so you can get in both. You can, um, you know, head in the, uh, in the first room, with the, get in with the lockpick, and then you can go down the uh, lift, head up the other lift, and you can get into Leon's sort of room, because, uh, well, obviously, it's not locked. All you need with you is the lighter, to, um, so you can see what you're doing and get hold of um, more rounds and stuff. Um, it's just, yeah, Leon doesn't have enough keys, so... Unless there's one I've missed, which I wouldn't put exactly past me, but, you know, I would have thought I'd have found it. Want to get past him? Yeah, there we go. We'll leave him in there to, to enjoy the smell. Right, 
Right, so... Um, yes. Oh, yes. Of course. Valve handle. I'm gonna bring it. I'll drop a herb. We should be okay with one. And the last time I said we should be o we should be okay with one herb, I got completely and utterly <coughs> raped by dogs. So, you know, uh, I'm not promising much. Let's just head on down here. I'm assuming the, uh... I'm assuming the, um... Ventilation holes now spinning... Yeah, it's spinning too fast. We, um, can't get through there. But you want to come down here and you want to check all these dead bodies here. Um, well, obviously, because we need to grab hold of the, uh... The, um, wolf metal here. But, you want to check down this corner... Because that's where the small key is. There we go. I knew it was somewhere. Oh, I, f I forgot. I thought it was like um, shotgun shells down there, folks. But no, it's a small key. So now we can actually get back into Claire's uh, Claire's um, stuff. Uh, her, um, her room. Well, there you go. So we can you can get in there. I was talking a uh, tiny bit of rubbish there. But, um, you know, I, f I forgot that small key was there, folks. So there you go. Alright, so let's um, use the small key in here and um, head on down. Is Mr. Zombie still down here? Let's see what we got here. We got uh, Magnum Bullets. Aw, oh, he's still here. Let's take the shotgun shells. I'm pretty sure there's nothing where... Um... Well, actually, that's a lie. If I look here, uh, there should... Is there herbs down in here? I forget. No, there isn't. I don't know why I was thinking there was herbs in there. Well, I have to, folks, don't I? I, I, I have to. It's only fair. You know, that is, that is, that is mercy killing, indeed. Yeah, mercy killing by blowing his head off with a with a shotgun at point blank range. He, did, I'm sorry, but you know, I, I feel too bad for him. Right. Anyway, so we can drop off the magnum bullets, and keep the wolf medal with us because, well, obviously we need the wolf medal, obviously. Through our door. And we shall make our way down. Ignore the spiders, because they're not an issue. Stop trying to poison me. Do not appreciate that. So, because we've already got the wolf medal, I might as well put it in straight away. Might as well. Oh, that was close. What is the lane too fast for me to cross? It's just water. It's not gonna kill you. I know a lot of a lot I know a lot of things are trying to kill you, but water won't do it. There goes the our blue herb planter thing there. So let's lower the um valve handle wait, lower the bridge even with the valve handle. That's what I'm looking for. And again, you want to raise it on the other side, just just like last time, or well, just like every time you want to do that, folks. Though as far as that's concerned, um, obviously, you can, again, use the valve handle to, like, um, slow down the ventilation hole and head through there. There's no reason, really, to head through there, folks, unless you're running out of space in your inventory. Say, like, if you haven't got space for the uh, um, Eagle Medal. But even then, that's kind of a bit far. Shotgun shells there, you've got your typewriter there, um, which I don't think I even said there was a typewriter there when we came through here last time. So there you go, there's a typewriter there. We'll, we'll head on through here. Now you'll notice, of course, uh, that has gone. 
basically because sort of this is um after well, no, we're here sort of after Claire got here. So Claire has all um, because we killed um the alligator in Claire's story, um it, Leon doesn't have to kill it because it's already dead. So you know, it's um you yeah, know, it's fine. Ada! Leon. This bullet wound isn't making things any easier. Quiet, Leon. I'll patch you up. That's two I owe you. Don't mention it. I just found out. John's dead. What? Never mind. Let's just get out of here. The sooner the better. Sounds good to me. But can we make it out, folks? And, you know, we, we've still got to make our way to, you know, oh yeah, to like the, the vacant factory. Obviously, got to get out the sewers and grab our things. But uh, what will await us there at the vacant factory and the Umbrella Labs after that? Well, see you there, folks.